Hi everybody, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to Ron's World. Today I am coming with you with the Moto G Power presentation unboxing. Yes. Um, Cricket Wilders decided to go ahead and change their service, so the um, Huawei Mate 8 I was on is on the 3G slash 4G service, but their service is picking up and says 3G phone, so after February, the end of February, that phone, the Huawei Mate 8, will no longer be available, and I'll be stuck with no phone for the whole entire whole entire month of February 22nd. So they shut me out a new phone, free of charge, and that's the thing here. You know, always check with your um your cell phone provider because they may have deals going on. If you need to upgrade your phone, go ahead on and check with them. And then you go ahead and have your nice, great phone. Now, I'll be putting the link, the affiliate link in the description below if you want to go ahead and purchase the phone for yourself. But always check with your um, cell phone provider because they might have deals for you where you don't have to go ahead and pay an arm and a leg or they can go ahead and offer the phone for you for free as an upgrade. All right, let's go ahead and get into the specs. Now, keep in mind, before I get into the specs, I'm going over the specs the specs of the Huawei Mate 8 and I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the phone, revealing it, showing you the look, the style of it, uh, going over the details and specs with it. Um, I will not be going over features, what you could do with the phone because I have not set my phone up yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and go over the style, the look and the feel of the phone and the features that comes with the phone. Okay, now let's go over with the specs first. Now keep in mind, I'll be going ahead and doing the specs, and then I'll be doing the specs again in the unboxing, showing you the product and etc. So let's go ahead and get into the um, the specs of the Model G. Alrighty, the Motorola Model G Power Specs. Its size is 6.6 .6 inches, it has a glass front plastic back it's water repellent it has an ips lcd display it's 720 by 1600 megapixels um the operating system is android 10 it's on a Qualcomm snapdragon chipset it has an adreno 610 gpu it has a micro sd support up to 256 gigabyte so if you go over 256 gigabyte the SSD will not be read in the phone, so go ahead and stick up to the specs of the SD micro SD card. If we go over 256, it will not pick it up. Um, internal storage is 32 gigabyte storage with 3 gigabyte of RAM. The main camera is a 48 megapixel camera with 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth. It has HD voice ca capable. It has an LD, LED flash, HDR, and panorama. The video is 1080p, 30 to 60 frames per second. The selfie is 8 megapixel selfie. And the video of the front camera selfie is 1080p, 30 frames per second in HDR. It has a loudspeaker. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which that's great. Um, it has a Wi Fi 802.11 dual band, Bluetooth 5.0. It comes with no NFC, so just keep that in mind. So, if you want to go ahead and set up like Google Pay or Samsung Pay, whatever um, NFC provider you use, just to tap and go, it does not support that feature. It has an FM radio, it has a USB Type C charger that has a fingerprint sensor located on the side of the power button so that's a good feature right there and the battery is a 5000 milliamp battery yes this cell will last me about maybe four days to a week all depends on what you're doing with it um i'm just gonna be basically using it just basic simple use um if I had to do a quick selfie video, I would go ahead and do that there as well. So, you know, the battery power life is good. Um, the color is flash gray with polar silver and the price of the phone 
is $146.99 at MSRP. Now, RSP, which is Retail Suggested Price, you probably get the full $169.99 or $189.99. So keep that in mind if you're probably buying it on Amazon. Um, just like I said, I got my phone from Cricket Wireless as an upgrade and it was free to me. I had to pay no cost to it. So that's why I sit down and say, make sure you go ahead on and check with your cell phone provider. Just go into like T-Mobile, um, uh, Boost Mobile, whatever your cell phone provider is, AT&T, Cricket Wireless, etc. Just go ahead on and check with them to see what good deals they have as an upgrade for your phone if you want to go ahead and upgrade okay now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the specs of the huawei Mate 8 that's the phone i've been on um in 2000 uh, in 2020 so i've been on that phone for like good two years it's a great phone but just like i said um quicker riders picked that up as a 3g phone so um after february 22nd that phone will no longer work on um the new network that is out now which is supports the 5g so it's 4g slash 5g so and it is what it is i just like i said i love the huawei mate um mate 8 it was a great phone very thin and let's go ahead on and get into the specs and details of that Alrighty, alrighty. the huawei mate 8 specs as you can see the the moto g power is a big big upgrade for me okay the mother the huawei mate 8 specs are glass front aluminum back ips nino l lcd is a six inch phone the good thing i like about the phone is 1080 by 1920 megapixels so yes the huawei mate 8 is a 1080 by 1920 full hd it has corona gorilla glass 3 the OS is the Android 6.0. Yes, I was full operating systems behind on this phone, but I get the upgrade to um, Android 10. The um, chipset is the Kirin 950. It has a Mali T880 MP4 GPU. It still has a micro SD support up to 256 gigabyte the internal storage is 32 gigabyte storage with 3 gigabyte ram the main camera is 16 megapixel by 2 megapixel wide the video of the phone is 1080p 60 to 30 frames per second now if you want to take pictures in 720p it gives you 120 frames per second selfie is 8 megapixels with a 2.4 inch wide it has a loudspeaker, it has a 3.5 millimeter jack, it has a Wi-Fi 802.11 dual band, Bluetooth is 4.2, it has NFC tap and go pay, which that's good with that phone here. I could go ahead and set up my Google Google account or Samsung Pay, whatever, but just like I said, that feature there was not a big feature for me, so I really didn't really use it because I basically don't trust it. Um, USB Micro 2.0, it has a fingerprint sensor rear mounted, and the battery life of this phone was 4,000 mega amps. Yes, this here battery here lasts me a while. Um, it gave me good four to five days of usage before I actually had to go ahead and charge it up, but that's the great thing about it. Okay, so now with the enough set with the um, presentation, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of the product and we could go ahead on and see what the phone looks like go over the features of the cameras etc um the color of the phone the basic stuff just like i said i did not set my phone up so i won't be going into the um details with the um with the um you can shake the phone to activate the camera which that's not a, too much of a big feature for me and i will go ahead and find a great video that will be linked in the description below so you can go ahead and click on that and you can go ahead and find out the benchmark scores etc and just like i said i don't play video games on my phone so i'm not getting into benchmarking or anything i'm just gonna go ahead and do the good unboxing and show you what the product looked like okay everybody we are back 
as you see my phone is from Cricut Wireless just like I explained before I got this in through a uh, promotion I had going on for an upgrade I had to go ahead and pay nothing but if you read Cricut Wireless this phone costs $139.99 if you was um, switching from a service to Quicker Wireless, you want to purchase this phone, that would be $89.99 per spec. So, but since I'm already with Quicker Wireless for a good long time, let me say I joined the service in 2016, no, 20, yeah, 2016. So I've been with this service about a good six years now. It's a pretty good service. There's a sub branch off from AT&T. Um, just like I said, you got good decent servers out there such as Boost Mobile, T-Mobile, Verizon, etc. This is a good phone to go ahead and pick up. Okay, so now just like I said, we're going to go over this, um, the details of the phone. So what comes inside the box. And the look and the feel of it. Just like I said, I will go ahead and be putting the um, um, a video link in the description below. That's going to go ahead and show you the benchmark scores, etc. with the phone. Um, things you can do with the phone. And what you could go ahead and like, if you play video games with the phone, etc. Just like I said, I don't play video games, so that's not really a big feature to me. And etc. with the shake motion and all the other good stuff with the um, with this phone here. Alrighty, what comes in the box, you get the phone itself you get the phone you get the SIM card so you can go ahead and transfer over your number you get your um your key pin so you can go ahead on and um Put your SSD, your micro SD in there, as well as the um, SIM card. You get your terms and condition booklet, so you can go ahead and read that. It's good to go ahead and read it so you can understand the terms and conditions of it. So you won't go ahead and have no issues with what's going on. You can keep updated with what's going on with Cricket Wireless. You get the um, your quick start guide. You get a legal safety and regulator um, booklet, so you can go ahead and read what's going on with the legal safety and regular regularity. You get your um, USB Type C charger, as well as your charging block. Okay, let's go ahead on and. Okay, it has the plastic back, gray slash silver metallic look, which is good. It has the Gorilla Glass front. You have your front camera, your eight megapixel front camera. You have your power button, as well as your fingerprint sensor button. You have your volume up and down control you have your on the back bottom of the phone you have your microphone you have your USB type C charger plug-in and you have your speaker up top of the phone which is a big big plus for me um, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as your microphone up top now when you plug in a headphone with the 3.5 millimeter jack you will also have connection to the FM radio and some of y'all don't know when you plug in your headphone jack your, your headphones are the antenna to the FM radio so you'll be listening to some FM radio while you're on the go doing your exercise etc etc now the camera so like I said you have your 48 megapixel camera 
with your 2 megapixel micro and your 2 megapixel depth. The, these two here, it's not too much big of an issue, but it is what it is. Um, you have your um, LED flash there. Now, on the um, certain videos I looked at, when you shake the phone, you can go ahead and activate the camera automatically. Just like I said, I'll be putting that link in the description below. I'm not turning it on yet because I got to go ahead and set it up and etc. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and fire it up anyway. Looks nice. I like that. The glass feel of it. It, it, it feels nice in the hands, you know. It's not bad of a product. I like I like how the fuck how it comes on. Looks nice. <clears throat> Hello, Victor. Right there, let's start. I haven't get skipped that for now. Skip that for now. Okay. I'm turn off my location. Sitting usage that not to turn that off. Except the reason why I turned off Google location because if you walk near any um, hot spots or anything, your phone automatically get picked up, and I don't want Google picking up locations or anything like that. So I'm gonna skip this for now because y'all need to see my security and pin. I'll set that up later. Except then continue. Nope. Subscribe. Nope. A new way to navigate. Okay. Okay. Do a push up feature. Slide feature. Okay. Go back. Okay. Hello. Swipe up to no. go to settings. Okay. Okay. And voila, we are in the phone. So just like I said, great phone. I got got good decent battery life. Um, if you just like I said, if you shake the the feature, I turn the light. I turned the light on, which is, which is good. You know, if I need to use my flash, I could turn that on and off, so that's a good thing. Um, just like I said, you got your camera button to the bottom, your Google, your uh, Google Chrome, your messaging, and your cell phone, which I'll be switching all that around. You know, it's not it's, it's not bad. I like, I like the feel of it. Um, not bad. You know, good phone and everything. So let's go to the camera. Oh, that's great. That is great. Great, good quality of the camera. I like that. Let's go to settings. As you did all your settings there for your camera. That's even better. It shows your little microphone up in the corner. So yeah, this is a good phone. I like it. I like it. It's a good upgrade from a Huawei Mate 8. I love it. Um, just like I said, this is a great phone. It's not a bad phone at all. So um, 
you could go ahead on and do things with it. Just like I said, I got to go ahead and do a lot of playing with it. So, you know, capture videos. So I set everything up the way I like it. So, this is not a bad phone at all. So, I'm um, a great upgrade for what I had my Huawei Mate 8. Um, just like I said, it's a 6.6 6 inch phone. Um, battery life is 5,000. Uh, milliamp so you know if you're playing video games you're gonna go ahead and burn it down extremely fast um, with that there I'm not gonna be doing none of that so you know it's not bad not bad at all not bad at all so I like the like the drop down feature you know, it's, just, it's, it's easy as I like it. Great phone. Turn off my Wi Fi. Turn off my Bluetooth. You know, you got your hotspots. Make sure you keep that turned off because if you have it on, you're going to pick up a hotspot and you're going to get logged in at that location. And, it's, and you know, it's not good to keep that on. That's how you get your phone hijacked and stuff like that. So, but. If you like to keep it on, that's up to you. System update, that's going to stay on, so my phone will stay constantly updated. Other than that, that's great. I, I like that, though. So now, I can just swipe up and close the app. That's, that's awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. That's the um, gesture. If one, yeah, once you go ahead and set your gestures up with that, uh, um, you can, like I said, when you shake the phone, you can go ahead and have it do certain things that you like it to do. So other than that, this is a great phone. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, just like I said, I'll be putting the affiliate links in the description below of this phone here. Yeah. And you could go ahead on and purchase it if you like this phone it comes in different colors and everything so you could go ahead on and do that there and other than that it's a great phone I like the feel of it I like the color of it. now keep in mind just like I said it has a plastic back you will not be able to open it up there's no opening nowhere um, if, if we damage it you know you gotta take it to a cell phone shop to fix it but um this is a great phone great device I'm glad to have it I want to thank y'all for watching this good video of this unboxing of this set product here of the Moto G Power and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.